Do you work on multiple projects that require you to use the same clips, graphics, titles, music, sound effects, etc? I get something that will make your life much easier. Hey everyone, my name is Mariusz Gajdzik. I'm a filmmaker and photographer based in Poland. And together with my girlfriend Martina, we run a company called Slick Visuals where we produce photo and video content for our clients. In this video, I will show you how to save a lot of time and have all your assets ready in your projects. No need to import it into every single one of them. To achieve that, we'll be using Power Bins function. And those are the bins that you can access in your entire library. You can put pretty much anything into them and I will tell you what we can't in a minute and use it in any of the projects we'll be working on. Power bins are not enabled by default, so let's jump into the DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to use it. So to access it in your DaVinci Resolve uh, project, uh, to see the power bins, you need to go into the view menu and select the power bins over here. And as you can see, those uh, showed up over here and I have my uh, Polish version, I have my English version, I have my music, which I'm gonna be importing into, and I have my sound effects, which are empty too. I don't have any sound effects in this power bin. So now I'm gonna put anything from that English uh, over here. And as you can see, it just imports that graphic over here and you can use it in any of the projects you're working in. Uh, so that's how you use them. You basically just have it over there and you can use it in your project. You can just drop it into your project and it works. But how to put something inside of the power bin? Uh, so basically, let's say we're gonna put that on the timeline and we want to use that music for every of our video, for example, or for something else. Uh, like we wanna have access to this uh, music in our power bins. What we do is basically just select it and drag it to the music bin. And as you can see, we have that inside of that power bin with music. And we can also do it this way. We can just select it over here in our regular bin and drag it to the music bin. And as you can see, we have that all over here. The other way to put something into the power bin is to just go into our finder and drag it from our folder. I selected that folder uh, earlier and basically drag it from that transition sound pack to the bin over here. And as you can see, we have that sound effects uh, already in our power bin and then uh, if we open any of the other projects, we're gonna have them accessible from here and we're gonna have the music accessible from here and we're gonna have our English assets for my videos for YouTube and we're gonna have the Polish assets for our videos for YouTube too. So yeah, that's gonna be much easier to work on the projects I have repeated uh, assets in. Uh, for example, my YouTube videos, I use the same graphics in them, I use the same sound effects, intro, outro, etc. Uh, so that's gonna be very useful. And I'm also gonna find it useful for when I'm working on videos for a single client and I use the same uh, lower thirds, for example, or other assets that are repeated like logos, etc. Uh, so this is gonna be useful for that reason too. And as I mentioned, you can use it for clips, you can use it for graphics from outside of the DaVinci Resolve, you can use it for the titles you made in DaVinci Resolve and just uh, save it as a preset and reuse it in another project. You can create your music libraries or uh, sound effect libraries if you want and use it in every project you want to use it. But we can't use it for timelines, we can't use it for compound clips, multicam or fusion clips. And it's a shame we can't, but I can sort of understand why it is like this. I myself have found it very useful for when I make my videos for YouTube or my clients. I can put all my graphics, intros, outros, sound effects, music into a power bin instead of copying it from one project to another every time I need it. 
it saves me a lot of time. I hope you'll find it useful too. Let me know in the comments how you'll be using that while working in DaVinci Resolve. And you can also leave any questions or suggestions of what I should talk about next. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be notified about more content like this. It helps me a lot, so I'll be super grateful. You can also check out my Instagram. I try to post there daily and it's the best place to see what I'm working on next and ask me any questions. I think this is it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.